Now on 4 News Now at 6, a weather alert day Wednesday. I'm tracking a storm system bringing rain, snow, and gusty winds. I'll go neighborhood by neighborhood to show you what to expect tomorrow morning. Plus, tips to stay safe on those slick roads and what you should keep in your car if you find yourself stuck in the snow this winter. As Spokane schools are alerting parents about whooping cough exposures, find out how many cases they've seen this year and the steps to protect your family from the contagious disease. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. Let's begin with a live look at the calm before the storm here in downtown Spokane. A storm system is expected to dump a pretty good amount of snow, and we are tracking it across the inland northwest. This storm could create slick driving conditions both tonight and tomorrow morning, and that is why our team of weather experts have declared tomorrow a weather alert day. We're glad you're with us. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. And I'm Derek Dice. Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker is in the First Alerts Weather Center. She's been tracking this storm all day. So, Chris, what can people expect when they wake up tomorrow morning? Well, this is the star of the show and of many news feeds across the region. It is a bomb cyclone, a very strong storm, uh, so named because of the drop in pressure with this storm, very rapid drop in pressure over a short period of time. However, it's going to be more like a few sparklers on this side of the Cascades, not the uh, scary bomb that is what it sounds like and has been... A lot of rumors going on around this storm, but I want to cut through that to let you know what you are going to expect tomorrow morning. There will be a snowy morning commute, especially the early part of the morning commute. And if you are in some of the more northern valleys over the entire region, though, there will be some wet weather and the threat of some icy roads through Wednesday morning before many locations will be turning over to rain. Now, the snowfall totals we're expecting with this system are not very impressive less well less than an inch right around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene and along I-90 it may just be a rain snow mix or a little bit of slush once we get into the northern valleys especially along the east slopes of the Cascades that's where we have a better chance to see some impactful weather and there are blizzard warnings in effect for the Cascades so if your travels take you that direction you're going to run into some trouble here's 2 a.m. Wednesday with the onset of this system, heavy snow through the Cascades, heavy snow along the east slopes into the Okanagan Highlands, Valleys, and Waterville Plateau. Right in Spokane, it may start as rain or a rain-snow mix. Some of the lower elevations around town may stay as a rain-snow mix or non-accumulating snow. And then as this system moves through, it turns all to rain, really, by mid-morning. Here's 4 o'clock in the afternoon with rain across the entire region. We'll also be seeing some gusty winds, but not the 60 mile per hour winds that have prompted the blizzard warning for the Cascades. We do have a winter weather advisory, mainly because of the timing of this system coming in right in the morning commute. A high of 42. Any snow that you get will not be yours to keep. It is going to be melting. That temperature is just about average. I'll be back to take this neighborhood by neighborhood to show you the snow amounts you can expect where you live in just a few minutes, Derek. All right, Chris, thanks so much. And be sure to tune in to Good Morning Northwest when you wake up tomorrow morning. Mark Peterson will have the up to their minute snow and rain conditions. And Allison Martinez will be out checking road conditions to help you plan your day. And with the return of snow, that also means the return of plows on the road. The Washington Department of Transportation says to help keep everyone safe, give plows plenty of room to work. That's because plows have large blind spots, making it hard for them to see you. Also, don't pass a plow on the right as they are clearing the roads. And give yourselves extra room to stop with slippery road conditions. You'll also want to be sure to keep an emergency kit in your car just in case of an emergency this winter. That includes things like a toolkit, jumper cables, extra food and water, and even some kitty litter, and kitty litter excuse me, in case you get stuck and need a little extra traction. And be sure to download the 4 News Now weather app so you know what to expect before you head out. Well, a man wanted for stabbing and killing a woman in East Central Spokane is now in jail. According to the Spokane Police Department, officers found Orlando Jamarillo in downtown Spokane. He tried to run from officers but was quickly arrested and he is now facing second degree murder charges. 
Well, a section of Trent Avenue in Spokane Valley is back open following a deadly crash this morning. The crash happened near Trent and Park. According to Washington State Patrol, a car smashed into the side of a pickup truck that was traveling west on Trent. Investigators also say the driver of the car was not wearing a seatbelt and died at the scene. The area known as Westwood in Spokane or the Thorpe property could look very different soon. The Washington State Department of Natural Resources is considering selling the property to a developer that plans to build houses on the land. It's just under 200 acres of land near Thorpe Road on the west side of Spokane. Derek Strom spoke with a conservation group about its plan to keep this land the way it is. It's a short walk to this viewpoint. It's unbelievable. The Washington State Department of Natural Resources is considering selling this land to a developer to build homes here, but a group of citizens is hoping to keep this land from being sold so that people can continue hiking here and they can continue enjoying these gorgeous views. Neighborhood associations, conservation groups, and local government officials are teaming up to keep the Westwood Natural Area or the Thorpe property a park or a conservation area. Conservationists have been working for the last year and a half to preserve the area, but they will also have to come up with the money to buy the land. The fact that the Climate Commitment Act passed gives more money for bringing into um, local ownership these kind of properties that have a climate action benefit. City Councilor Paul Dillon is also looking to buy conservation groups some time to strategize and fundraise by proposing a resolution in the Spokane City Council to extend the public comment period. There are also safety concerns with the lack of infrastructure in the area. What we need and what the residents have been asking for is a bigger plan for Leitaw Valley and how this all fits in. And that includes uh, development, that includes a fire station, uh, schools, parks. Dylan says there are many residents, organizations, and tribes that are interested in keeping the land as a park or conservation area. He says one of the options that is on the table is having Spokane Parks manage the 200-acre property. We've certainly been getting a lot of emails um, from folks that uh, want to see this protected as a conservation area, uh, but really it comes down to trying to build long-term and, and plan for the future. The DNR is holding a public meeting about the Thorpe property on December 4th. In Spokane, Derek Strom, 4 News Now. Well, your property taxes will see a slight increase next year due to the recently approved 1% increase in property taxes from the County Board of Commissioners. Alexandra Cohen Yards joins us live in studio now with a breakdown of how much this will impact your wallet. Derek and Kirsten, the county general fund actually gets a marginal amount of the property taxes overall in Spokane. This graph behind me shows you how a homeowner in the city of Spokane's taxes are split when looking at the $9.66 per property tax per $1,000 in assessed value. As you can see, more than half of that money goes towards schools. The county general fund gets just around 7%, which counts for 70 cents for this assessed value. This is the number that would increase with this added property tax. As for how much this would really cost you, for the average homeowner, it will result in a 24 cent increase in property tax per month and almost $3 increase per year. The county commissioners have been working on the budget for 2025 for months. Those in favor of the tax believe the revenue this will generate is needed to ensure public safety departments get necessary funding. I think the citizens uh, need to know that we worked hard to look for every efficiency. We have frozen the budget of several of our county departments and made cuts in other areas. Um, so I look at this as a last resort, but it's important that we be able to meet those critical needs for public safety. The Spokane County prosecutors and sheriff's offices also spoke in favor of this tax increase, saying it will help them enhance the resources they provide. But those who oppose it argue the money needed to do this already exists in the 2025 budget. Uh, we had $12 million uh, in budget capacity to spread out amongst all of our departments to give them above the amount that they had received in the 2024 budget. So that is uh, probably the main reason why I did not support the property tax increase. We could make our budget balance without it. 
commissioners Josh Kern and Kearns and Al French were the minority that voted against this property tax increase. Kearns says he believes adding it creates an unnecessary burden on taxpayers that could be mitigated. This tax is not 1% per home, but 1% over what the county brought in last year in property taxes. The tax would make the county general fund an additional $652,000. The board will decide how that money is budgeted at their December 2nd meeting. In studio tonight, Alexandra Conyarts for News Now. Alexandra, thank you. Still ahead, health officials are keeping a close eye on the spread of bird flu. Why a case in Canada has some experts concerned. And President-elect Donald Trump says he plans on abolishing the Department of Education. The impact it could have on your child's education and your student loans if he makes good on his campaign promise. Next on 4 News Now. Download the KXLY Plus app on your connected TV. Save your green! Hi, they assigned me to work with you, Miss... Ray, but you can call me Miranda. You're me. If you take the next step. How? Work here during the day, go to school at night. It's so worth it. Face your future with Whitworth University. for you today from the Sweet Palace in Phillipsburg, Montana. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Life happens, and you can't always wait for two-day free shipping. Instead, head to your local Ace Hardware store, where we've got just what you need in stock right now. Our experts give you the knowledge and personal touch you can't find online. And when you need help fixing your broken screen, unclogging that drain, need an extra key made, or that hard-to-find nut or bolt, we're right around the corner with the helpful advice and products you need without the wait. Carpet One, Sandpoint Furniture, and Selkirk Glass and Cabinets. Three great stores in one location up in Pondre, Idaho. And the word has spread far and wide that we're a true design destination for all your home furnishings. And you should see what these stores can provide for your house, literally from the floor to the windows. And to make us an even better choice, we offer the expertise of talented designers, on-the-spot deliveries, custom financing, and an experienced install team. So come on up and see us at the campus of Carpet One, Sandpoint Furniture, and Selkirk Glass and Cabinets in Pondre, Idaho. The fridge is broken. How are we going to replace it before the holidays? Huh. Swing into Fred's Appliance today for our Black Friday Super Sale and experience unbeatable deals on the largest selection of in-stock, get-it-today inventory in our region. This spacious GE French door refrigerator is on sale now for only $13.99. With a large capacity of 27 cubic feet, this refrigerator will easily store large or bulk food items with three full-width shelves. At Fred's, we sell appliances only appliances. Tomorrow, it's GMA at the CMAs, and Brett Young's bringing the heat here at GMA, performing for you. Brett Young, tomorrow morning on Good Morning America, sponsored by Boot Barn. While the business of the election season has come and gone, and most, if not all, races have already been called, our election officials are still hard at work. To ensure the accuracy of election results, several counties across Washington, including Spokane, conducted a post-election audit today. Marissa Rio takes us inside the audit process. It's just one more step that, you know, elections goes through to ensure that the ballots are being counted the way the voter intended them. It's another way to ensure the integrity of our election system, and it's no simple task. <coughs> election officials begin by taking out the boxes <coughs> and boxes full of all the Spokane County ballots cast in the general election. Part of a statewide RLA risk limiting audit and a county uh, risk on it. We did them in conjunction today. We counted 82 ballots um, is for the lieutenant governor race and the state senator legislative district four race. A software chooses the 82 ballots and which races to audit at random. 
Then, like looking for a needle in a haystack, election officials are tasked with finding those 82 ballots from the nearly 300,000 ballots cast. And now it's time for the fun part. Election officials behind this window here are recording the votes from the random sample of ballots that they just picked out. Election observers are also there watching officials every step of the way. I just want to make sure that uh, the election has uh, the integrity that we're looking for. Tom Barnhart has volunteered to be an election observer for several years. And while he has concerns with mail-in voting, he was happy with what he saw today. I hold the elections folks in the highest regard. They're doing everything that they're required to do under the law. After officials hand record results into the system, they wait to see if those results match the original machine count. No discrepancies. And today, there were no discrepancies, verifying the accuracy of Spokane County's election system. In Spokane, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. Around the nation, prosecutors in New York are hitting the pause button on President-elect Donald Trump's criminal hush money case. Mr. Trump was originally supposed to be sentenced next week on his 34 felony convictions related to a payment made before the 2016 election to silence adult film actress Stormy Daniels about their long-denied affair. His conviction carries a maximum sentence of up to four years in prison. There's a greater chance that we do not see Donald Trump uh, sentenced if the prosecution is joining in the application to pause the case because the case would be paused almost indefinitely. Uh, it, I can only imagine, be brought back up uh, after the presidency is done. Trump's lawyers arguing the case should be dismissed because a sitting president is immune from prosecution. Prosecutors arguing presidential immunity would not apply to a defendant who had already been convicted for conduct that is entirely private. If the judge tosses the conviction, he could order a new trial, which would be delayed until Mr. Trump leaves office or dismiss the indictment altogether. While on the campaign trail, Trump promised to get rid of the U.S. Department of Education. He pointed it as an example of federal overreach into the lives of American families. And to understand what's at stake to lose, it's important to know what the Department of Education does. Some of the department's biggest jobs are to administer federal funding from Congress to K-12 through schools. Two of the biggest funding pro or programs for these grades are the Title I program, which is meant to help educate kids from low-income families, and the IDEA program, which gives schools schools money to help kids with disabilities. This funding predated the Department of Education, so it's possible some of these programs would be moved to other agencies if the Department of Education is abolished. And political experts say getting rid of the Department of Education is no easy task, but it can be done through Congress, and it won't be as difficult with Republicans controlling both the House and the Senate. This also wouldn't be the first time the DOE has been abolished. The current version of the DOE was established as a cabinet-level position in 1970. 79 by President Jimmy Carter. But the first Department of Education was created by Andrew Johnson in 1867 and abolished by Congress a year later. President-elect Trump says the big reason he wants to close the department is to put education back in the hands of the states, saying we want them to run the education of our children because they'll do a much better job of it. The Trump administration could also decide the fate of President Biden's new federal student loan repayment program, also known as SAVE. That's the program that lowered monthly payments for more than 8 million borrowers and gave them a quicker route to forgiveness. But the program has faced legal challenges and is currently in the hands of the Supreme Court. Experts say the Trump administration does not have to do much to get rid of these programs. One former senior advisor in the Education Department during Trump's first term telling The Washington Post the new administration administration could just choose to stop defending them and let the court strike them down. But even if the Supreme Court deems the policies to be legal before Trump takes office, Trump could still rescind the policy once he's back in the Oval Office. As of right now, there's no word on how the Trump administration would handle the more than $1.5 trillion of student loan debt that's currently managed by the Department of Education. Big snow in the mountains with this approaching system. The main concern over Snoqualmie and Stevens Pass, not just the snow, but wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. That is why there is a blizzard warning. These are snowfall totals through Wednesday night. I'll be back to tell you about the winds on this side of the mountains and have your seven day forecast. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 
4 News Now is brought to you by River City Glass. Bigger, brighter, and better than ever. Check in on the new Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino. We've just completed a major expansion, adding more amenities to elevate your guest experience to new heights. So, what are you waiting for? Why do people come to the University of Washington? They come here to find people who will inspire them, move them, change them. They come to solve big problems and prepare for careers where they can make a difference. They come to cheer on their Huskies in the greatest setting in college football. If you want to change the world, this is where you start. For passion, for possibility, be boundless. I had just turned 37 and I found a lump by the time that I had it checked out and was able to get in and see a doctor and all that, I'd, I was at stage three. Part of the reason I think that I didn't go get it checked out right away is that I was really scared. When I got the call, it was gone. It was such a huge relief. Even if you don't feel that it's in you, that you have a lump or you have a reason to get checked, you are a woman, get checked. Join us at Madison Home for our holiday sale. All American leather furniture is now on sale, including comfort sleepers, comfort recliners, air chairs, and more. Current designs and elevated style. Madison Home, 2826 North Ruby. Elevate your game day at Caesar Sportsbook, located inside Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino. The area's largest sportsbook is your VIP seat on the 50-yard line with massive HD screens and live betting. Only at Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino. You just win here. Well, get ready for a wet and windy commute tomorrow. Our team of weather experts are tracking another storm system on the way. And Chris, some areas could see a pretty decent amount of snow overnight. Uh, yes, right through the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area, it's looking less and less like it is going to be a big snow event, but some of our northern valleys will certainly uh, get clobbered. Four things to know about our weather. It is a weather alert Wednesday. We're going to see some snow overnight. It is going to turn to rain early in the day. A little bit tricky with all of our various elevations around the region to pinpoint, but I'm going to give it a try. If you are heading to the Cascades, blizzard conditions, I would delay your trip. Here's a look at the odds of two inches or more of snow. Not a very high bar there, only two inches. Zero percent chance in Pullman, a one percent chance in Spokane, four in Coeur d'Alene. Then it goes up to 37 in Deer Park. Still not that great of odds. We do not get above 50 percent till we get up to Chewila. Colville almost 60%, 80% chance in Sandpoint, and a 96% chance in Republic. You're going to see more than two inches of snow right around Spokane. Downtown, you may not have any accumulating snow. That bodes well for the morning commute. More of a rain-snow, non-accumulating mix. We go up to the West Plains, a little over an inch. Most of the rest of the Spokane area, a half inch or less. A little bit Bit further to the east we go into uh, Spokane Valley right at the I-90 area no measurable snow again that rain snow mix and then you get up on the higher benches you're more likely to find a little bit of snow accumulating on the grassy surfaces a lot of this snow however you'll have to measure it quickly because as we warm up into the 40s it will be melting just about as fast as it accumulates some of the areas where we'll have a better chance of accumulating snow, Deer Park, Loon Lake, Cusick, almost three inches of snow. And of course, as you head closer to the Cascades, the more snow you're going to find. Winds, here's six o'clock this evening. We are going to see the winds picking up with this system, especially uh, closer to the Cascades. Here's seven o'clock tomorrow morning, 40 mile per hour gusts in Pullman. Those winds will die down as our warm front moves through. Ten o'clock tomorrow night. 
things will be relatively calm around the region. High temperatures tomorrow in the 40s in most locations. So again, if you get a little bit of snow, it will not be on the ground for long. Have to go up to Deer Park and Spirit Lake in terms of temperatures uh, right around the Spokane area to find the 30s. And you have to wait till Monday to find 30s on the Spokane forecast. An alert day tomorrow for a tricky morning commute. And then it's all rain Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Some snow mixing back in starting on Sunday. Derek? All right, Chris, thank you. Still ahead, some say they don't feel safe walking around downtown Spokane once the sun goes down. Coming up, how one program will make sure you get to your destination safely. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Shop now during our Black Friday sale and save up to $16,000 or 0% APR on a new Sierra 1500 Crew Cab Denali Ultimate. There's never any dealer added markups on new vehicles. And ask about our three day return and seven day exchange at GMC of Riverfront Park. So, what do you think about these? Um, we like this. Yeah, we love it. When it's time for an update or complete remodel, Rebath is with you every step of the way. We're going to take everything down to the From side. design and product to removal and installation. We handle the entire process to create a beautiful and functional bathroom for whatever your life needs. Honey, you were right. Rebath, with you every step of the way. Call us or visit rebath.com and save $750 off your tub or shower remodel. Did you know that Washington's Working Families Tax Credit could put up to $1,200 back in your pocket? If you're part of a low to moderate income household, you could be eligible for a refund designed to help you cover essentials like groceries, gas, or bills. The best part? Applying is free and easy. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov to see if you qualify. Don't miss out. Apply now and make sure you get the refund you deserve. That's workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. With holidays right around the corner, Ironstone Furniture and Fire is offering discounts on all in-stock dining sets along with simplicity, indulgence, and endless possibilities. So, when you're looking for dining at its best, visit Ironstone Furniture and Fire in Coeur d'Alene. Experience winter fun at Silver Mountain Resort. Discover some of the best terrain in the region, just 30 minutes east of Coeur d'Alene, right off I-90. Relax in a beautiful condo, just a short stroll from the gondola. Dining, exciting water slides, and indoor surfing at the water park. Enjoy a gondola ride to our exhilarating snow tubing and your gateway to snow rider heaven. Create unforgettable family memories at Silver Mountain. Book today at silvermt.com. Shop now during our Black Friday sale and save up to 8500 off or 3.9% APR on a new Sierra 2500 HD Denali. There's never any dealer-added markups on new vehicles. And ask about our three-day return and seven-day exchange at GMC of Riverfront Park. 4 News Now is brought to you by Craig Swap & Associates. Welcome back. It's a viral respiratory disease causing multi-state outbreaks in wild birds, poultry, and other animals. Bird flu has also now led to more than four dozen infections in people in the U.S. While most human cases are mild, health officials are keeping a close eye to the north as a Canadian teenager was hospitalized in critical conditions. CNN's Mandy Gaither looks at the latest U.S. data and how you can help prevent an infection. Sporadic cases of H5N1 spreading from animals to humans have prompted concern from U.S. health officials. The latest CDC data confirming 52 cases of bird flu in people since April. As we think about a virus that might move from animals into humans uh, and potentially cause the next pandemic, it uh, certainly has everyone's uh, Guard up. Ohio State epidemiologist Andrew Bowman says this latest strain of the virus came over to the U.S. in 2021 and has spread through wild birds in North America. So far in the U.S., those who have tested positive have had mild symptoms like eye redness or discharge and mild upper respiratory symptoms. The CDC says people who have tested positive have recovered from their illnesses after treatment with antiviral medications. Every time we get the opportunity for the virus 
virus to move uh, across species, there's the opportunity for um, a, a negative health outcome. To reduce risk, the CDC recommends avoiding exposure to sick or dead animals, including wild birds, poultry, other domesticated birds, and unnecessary exposure to wild or domesticated animals like cows. The agency advises against drinking raw milk. They say pasteurized milk is safe to drink. Avoid exposures to things like animal waste, bedding, or other materials touched by an animal with suspected or confirmed bird flu. And for those who work with animals at risk of exposure, wear protective equipment. At this time, I think it's heightened awareness and there's no need to, to panic. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Well, the last two survivors of the Pac-12 will be going head-to-head -head this week in Corvallis. Why head coach Jake Dickert says this isn't going to be a friendly game despite the two schools working together to rebuild the conference. And coming up, I'll tell you about a program that wants you to know you don't have to walk around downtown Spokane alone. That ahead. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. I'm really grateful to be a first generation student from my family. The NES scholarship was definitely a game changer. I never knew how easy it was to start a scholarship. Whatever you can give every year, that's how I sold it to my family. We talked a lot waiting for somebody else to do it. And so we finally decided, no, we're not going to wait. We're going to do it. Graduating from college, it was not even a dream. That's what Eastern has done. We have to continue that. We have to help this precious institution that changed so many lives. This November, stay for less and play for more at the Kootenai Casino. It's time for an autumn getaway. Now is the perfect opportunity to come stay and win. Call us now to book your room starting at just $79 midweek and $99 weekends at the beautiful Kootenai Falls Lodge. And join us for a $10,000 giveaway, tournament Tuesdays, and November hot spins. Put some extra stuffing in your pockets this November, only at the Kootenai Casino. Call 888-YOU-ARE-LUCKY or visit KootenyRiverInn.com. Life happens, and you can't always wait for two-day free shipping. Instead, head to your local Ace Hardware store, where we've got just what you need in stock right now. Our experts give you the knowledge and personal touch you can't find online. And when you need help fixing your broken screen, unclogging that drain, need an extra key made, or that hard-to-find nut or bolt, we're right around the corner with the helpful advice and products you need without the wait. Babe, the dryer is still not working. What are we going to do with the holidays coming? Swing into Fred's Appliance today for our Black Friday Super Sale and experience unbeatable deals on the largest selection of in-stock get-it-today inventory in our region. Like this GE front load washer and dryer for only $6.99 each. These high efficiency machines offer advanced features like steam cleaning and quick wash settings, making laundry less chore and more of a breeze. At Fred's, we sell appliances. Only appliances. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. Welcome back. Our team of weather experts have declared tomorrow a weather alert day because of the rain and gusty winds on the way. And we're also talking about snow. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker, who's tracking the storm. Well, we've got this. It's a beautiful storm from space, a bomb cyclone. That is a system with a rapidly dropping central pressure. It is going to be most problematic on the west side of the state where they are expecting high winds, concerns about flooding and through the Cascades with a blizzard warning. We are bringing up a lot of moisture with this system, but most of it is going to be falling in the form of rain because it's also coming along with a lot of warm air. However, before that transition is made, we have a morning commute and that's where things could get a little tricky for a brief period of time, enough so that we have a weather alert day. We haven't really had uh, many tricky morning commutes yet this season. We have snow 
on the way over the entire region in some form. It may be just a rain snow mix or non accumulating snow in some of the valleys and that is for Wednesday morning. Snowfall accumulation will be fairly light, especially right through the I-90 corridor between Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, where that should be the easiest part of your commute. If you are heading north, you're going to run into more snow. If you're heading over the Cascades, you're gonna run into some blizzard conditions and some real problems. These are snowfall totals through nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, there are a number of winter alerts in effect. The area shaded in orange on your screen is a blizzard warning for the Cascades. In the share area shaded in pink on your screen, that is a winter storm warning. That's where we're going to see the highest totals because the warm air with this system is going to take a while to reach Wenatchee, Winthrop, Omac, and Republic. Meanwhile, further to the east, that area shaded in purple is a winter weather advisory, which is mainly in effect because of the Wednesday morning commute and some of the snow that may impact our roads. But we're already going to be above freezing by 8 o'clock. We're heading up to a high of 42. So if you do get snow at your house, it will likely be long gone by the evening commute. I'll be back with your seven-day forecast, Kirsten. All right, we'll check back with you then. Thank you, Chris. Spokane Public Schools now sending notes home with students about possible exposures to whooping cough. The Spokane Regional Health District says there have been 59 cases reported with 30 possible exposures in K through 12 schools and child care centers. Spokane Public Schools saying there have been eight confirmed cases this school year. Now the schools are notifying the county health district if there's a suspected case. And once a case has been confirmed, the district recommends schools follow their protocol to notify students and staff. For example, for a single case, the district recommends in grade schools, only those in the affected classrooms should be notified. For middle school and high schools, officials should notify the affected grade or notify school-wide as appropriate. To read an example of a letter your child might bring home, just head to KXOY.com. Now, for many of you, it is dark when you leave work or head to pick up your kids from daycare. And not being able to see everything in your surroundings can make you feel a little anxious, especially in downtown Spokane. That's where Hunter Bertram joins us live tonight, sharing a service that aims to help us all feel more safe there. Hunter? Yeah, hey, Kirsten, even with the lights of downtown, it's not always easy to feel both safe and secure when walking around, especially at night and alone. And that's why the Downtown Spokane Partnership is offering a free walking buddy to help you get to where you're going. As you walk through downtown Spokane, you'll notice some of these ambassadors wearing these striking blue coats. They're dedicated to keeping our community clean and safe while connecting with those who might need some help. One of those ambassadors is Eli Viveros. Uh, I, I personally like doing it a lot. Um, I want to make sure that everybody feels safe and welcome down here. He's been with the program since last October and knows it can be unnerving getting around in the dark. But he wants people to know when in downtown, you don't need to walk around alone. Yeah, so they can call us at our hotline uh, and ask us to do a service walk uh, from their car or from their office to their car. So. From 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. seven days a week, these friendly faces can walk you home to work to your car or to the bus anywhere within their downtown service area. They're here to help you get where you're going with peace of mind. And for Eli Viveros, his favorite part is showing people hidden gems while on the way to their destination. Yeah, send them to a new spot if there are new places uh, opening up, uh, recommending that you want to see everybody thriving out here. So. And you know, it's pretty easy to give them a call for them to come and walk with you. You can reach them at their dispatch center, which is right below me here on your screen. That number is 509-353-9111. Eli says they'll come to your location within about five to 10 minutes of receiving that call. Live in downtown, I'm Hunter Bertram for News Now. All right, Hunter, thank you. Tonight, the Spokane Valley City Council will vote on an ordinance to make sleeping in parks a misdemeanor. The proposed ordinance would change the penalty from an infraction to a misdemeanor with a punishment of up to 90 days in jail or a $1,000 fine. According to the city, between January and September, five people a night were found sleeping in the parks with only 43 of them arrested. We'll have the results of tonight's vote on KXY.com and on Nightside starting at 11.
Well, Washington State and Oregon State are all that remain from the old Pac-12 conference. And those old rivals face off once again down in Corvallis this weekend for all the bragging rights, Jack. Oh, well, that's right, y'all. This Saturday presents a huge opportunity for Wazoo to earn their ninth win this season. And our sports reporter, Sydney Berger, has a special report tonight from Pullman in this week's Chalk Talk about how the Cougs can match up against their conference counterpart all after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Mystiqua Casino Hotel in Chewila. Boating, skiing, we've got it all in the Northwest thanks to four full seasons. But that wide temperature range also makes it difficult and expensive to stay comfortable year round. That's where the experts at Bill's Heating and AC come in. Right now, they're including a free tankless water heater with every heating and cooling system. With a new heat pump and tankless water heater, you'll save money and stay comfortable year round. So call Bill's Heating and AC today and make living in the Northwest even better. Over 20 million fans have made Trans-Siberian Orchestra their holiday tradition. Bring the whole family and make it part of yours. The Lost Christmas Eve Live in Concert. Friday, November 22nd, Spokane Arena. Tickets on sale now at TicketsWest.com. The return of Trans-Siberian Orchestras. The Lost Christmas Eve. Produced by Live Nation. <laughs> Santa returns to River Park Square on Saturday, November 23rd, presented by STCU. Festivities begin at 3 o'clock, and Santa arrives to light the tree at 5, with special guest appearances by the Ferris Dance Team, Cheney High School Choir, the wonderful Mrs. Claus, and so much more. Visit RiverParkSquare.com to plan your holly jolly holiday season and to reserve your time for Santa photos. Enjoy the magic of the season at River Park Square. The holidays. <laughs> so and holiday together. trips. And holiday toys. And holiday bonding. And it all comes together in a Chevrolet. Find your red tag. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Plus, get 37.50 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. Next live, Richard Gere from the agency. Oh. <laughs> Plus, comedian Jim Gaffigan. And Richard Gere. Watch live tomorrow at 9, right after GMA. The first real snow of the season is coming in just in time for tomorrow morning's commute. That brings us to a weather alert day. Before you head out, get my full forecast plus a live look at road conditions. That's tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest. Now, it sounds a little bit crazy, but Washington State is about to play their first conference game this season. And, of course, the Cougs and the Beavers are the only two remaining teams of the Pac-12 conference, but being left behind is about all they have in common. In this week's Cougar Chalk Talk, Sydney Berger explains how the Cougars view their next opponent. Since Washington State and Oregon State have been the lone survivors of the Pac-12, both universities' administrations have been working together to help rebuild the conference. So you would think that the football programs would be like this, but Coach Dickert and the players are setting the record straight. I've never gotten into the, like, they're our buddy. Oregon State's not our buddy. Safe to say, the Cougs and the Beavs won't be exchanging friendship bracelets at midfield this Saturday. It might have seemed like these two schools made a pact to stick with the pack, but Jake Dickert thinks if they were given the opportunity, it'd be every man for themselves. They would have left us as fast as we would have left them. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. And when there's only two teams left in the conference, it's a rivalry game by default, but the players don't see it that way. We're competitors, so anybody we play, we want to beat. Like We don't look at them as like, our friends or anything like that. So, because we're a competitive team, we want to go out there and win. So, that's what it is. And with a fire burning under the team after an upset in New Mexico last weekend, the Cougs are only turning up the heat. No friendly competition. You know, the outside noise, the media might say it, but when we're two different teams practicing two different states, it's like you want to win. So, it's like it's no friendly competition over here. Washington State has won nine of the last 10 matchups against Oregon State, and Dickert expects to extend that win streak. <laughs> It's been a battle. So excited to go back out there and really compete. 
In recent history, the Cougs and the Beavs have played pretty gritty games against each other. Most recently, Washington State winning by three points last season. Kickoff this week is in Corvallis at 4 o'clock. Reporting in Pullman, Sydney Berger, 4 News Now Sports. The Idaho Vandals men's basketball team, they're back home in Moscow tonight against the NAIA Evergreen State Geo Ducks, a winless unit, but one that dropped 84 points on fellow Big Sky Portland State. We spoke with head coach Alex Pribble this week on not looking past anyone on the schedule. We have some very specific things we're working on right now. We need to get our transition defense better. We need to get our ball screen coverages better. Um, we need to be more consistent on the defensive glass. And those are three things that we're really going to be working on against Evergreen. So it's a big game for us. Um, you know, we still haven't put a full 40 minutes together, and that's going to be our goal for tomorrow. Tip off for the game started at the top of our show. So the score is 25 to 19, probably a little bit more right now. But Idaho leads it with about seven or six to go in the first half. Washington State football hangs onto the AP top 25 polls at number 25, but today's college football playoff polls has the Cougs on the outside looking in. With only two games to go in the regular season, Wazoo might have to win both of those to get back into the rankings as a 10-2 season would be among the best in recent memory for the Cougs. All right, Jack, thank you. Well, lung cancer is the number one cancer killer in smoking, a major cause leading to nearly half a million deaths each year. Today, the U.S. Surgeon General spreading a warning and awareness. ABC's Jacqueline Lee explains. The major new report from the Surgeon General warns about ongoing dangers of cigarettes nationwide. The more we learn, the more we recognize how dangerous tobacco is. So we need to, number one, be preventing people from getting started and using these products in the first place. And second, if they are using them, we have to help people quit. The 800 plus page report highlights startling disparities. Cigarette smoking is two times more common among people living in poverty. It's higher among American Indian and Alaska Native people, as well as those who identify as LGBTQ. Why is it so important to raise awareness about these disparities? It's important because we wanna make sure the progress we make on preventing tobacco related disease uh, it affects the entire population, that everybody benefits from this effort. And the goal ultimately, the end game, if you will, here, is an America where people don't get sick or lose their life to tobacco. And we want that to be true for everyone, regardless of your race and ethnicity, regardless of your sexual orientation, where you live, or how much money you make. And now, the American Lung Association says a way to fight this is to get screened for lung cancer. Researchers found just 16% of people who meet the criteria are getting tested. Current guidelines say adults ages 50 to 80 with a smoking history of 20 or more pack years, which is packs per day multiplied by years of smoking, should get CT scans. Right now, 43% of lung cancer cases aren't detected until it's too late. Even though smoking has declined more than 70% since 1965, from 42.4% to 11.5% in 2021, smoking and secondhand smoke accounts for nearly one in five of all deaths, according to the report. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Los Angeles. Wednesday is a weather alert day. We have a tricky morning commute with snow on the way. That is going to mean different things depending on where you live. The entire region will get some amount of wet weather for the morning commute. I'll be back to break it down after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. This holiday season, give the gift of mustard seeds. Get a $10 bonus card with every $50 gift card. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Mustard Seed, where Spokane eats. Welcome to Coeur d'Alene Honda. Thank you. I've been coming here for years and I've always felt just like family. At Coeur d'Alene Honda, we've been family owned and operated for over 50 years. We pride ourselves in giving the best customer experience. And every new car comes with a nationwide lifetime warranty. We have some of the best selection of pre-owned vehicles to choose from. And select pre-owned Hondas come with our lifetime warranty. Coeur d'Alene Honda with a nationwide lifetime warranty at no additional cost to you. Awarded dealer of the year and rated 4.7 on Google. And don't forget about the lifetime warranty. <coughs> When you have moderate to severe eczema, it's okay to show off. With Dupixin, show off your clearer skin and less itch. Because you have plenty of reasons to show off your skin. With Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, you can stay ahead of your eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your skin from within. 
Many adults saw 90% clearer skin. Some even achieved long-lasting clearer skin and fast itch relief after first dose. Severe allergic reactions can occur. Get help right away for face, mouth, tongue, or throat swelling, wheezing, or trouble breathing. Tell your doctor of new or worsening eye problems like eye pain, vision changes, or blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma or other medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixit. Clog drains are a huge problem and can cost thousands. With Mainstream, you can prevent clogs before they happen. There's no better time than now to call Mainstream and ask about our 83 or it's free drain clearing special. For just $83, we'll send a technician to your home to clear your drain. And if for some reason we can't get it, it's free. With over 20 years of experience, the expert technicians at Mainstream can restore the flow. Call Mainstream today or visit us at MainstreamHomeServices.com to take advantage of this limited time deal. This holiday season, give the gift of mustard seed. Get a $10 bonus card with every $50 gift card. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Mustard Seed, where Spokane eats. For News Now is brought to you by Custom Truck. Welcome back. We're talking snow tomorrow. Yep, and how much you might have uh, when you wake up tomorrow morning. We're going to go to Chris Crocker for the answer. Oh, boy, and that answer is going to vary quite a bit depending on where you are watching right here at the 4 News Now studios at 500 West Boone Avenue, very close to the Spokane River. I don't think we're going to get anything other than some snowflakes that pretty much melt on impact. It's going to be a very different story in some of the northern valleys and even on on the higher benches, you'll have some accumulating snow, but it will not be around for long. Weather alert day for Wednesday, the timing of this snow coming in overnight through the morning commute, it is going to be turning to rain very early in the day, right in the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area. If you are heading over the Cascades, however, blizzard conditions, it's that combination of heavy snow as well as wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. This is a look at our weather pattern the big picture this is an atmospheric river we are bringing in a lot of precipitation over the region I'm going to show you the view from space as you can see this fetch of moisture uh, it originates down in the subtropics so as it makes its way in it is also coming along with a lot of warm air and it is that time period between when the warm air gets here and the precipitation is underway that we will have that wintry weather before it all turns over to rain and our snow levels start to increase. It's a little bit different um, computer model than I showed you earlier. This is going to be the sort of worst case scenario if the cold air sticks around a little bit longer. We're going into, well, or best case scenario if you want the snow, I should qualify. Here's 3 a.m. and even with colder air in place, we see it starting off as a rain snow mix in Spokane. Uh, with snow further down onto the Palouse, rain in the southern portions of the Columbia Basin. Even with that colder solution, by 8 a.m., we're seeing much of the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area transfer over to rain, and then the rest of the region scouring out the cold and turning to rain by uh, late morning, early afternoon. Here's 6 o'clock tomorrow night with only snow in the mountain areas. We do have a number of winter weather alerts. Just want to point out one more time this blizzard warning in effect for the Cascades. Not a good day uh, to make the trip over to the west side. It is a winter storm warning for the area shaded in pink on your screen with some heavy snow there. The area shaded in purple is a winter weather advisory. You're going to encounter some tricky driving tomorrow morning through much of this area shaded in purple, especially if you're getting an early start. Snow amounts will be very light around Pullman, Spokane, Coeur d'Alene. These are the odds of 
just two inches or more. Not much to write home about, but then those numbers jump as we head into the Northern Valley, Sandpoint, Republic, uh, both over 80%. High temperatures tomorrow in the 30s and 40s around the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area, mostly in the 40s. Deer Park and Spirit Lake staying in the 30s. Your seven day forecast after tomorrow's weather alert day, it is rain for the next several days, possibly bringing some snow back in the equation as we get into Thanksgiving week. All right, Chris, thank you. Well, tis the season for holiday packages, but also those hated porch pirates. Mm, millions of packages will arrive on doorsteps all over the country between now and the end of December. And if a package is swiped, a refund or replacement is not guaranteed. CNN's Karen Kafa explains how you can protect your packages. Americans are set to take record advantage of the conveniences of online shopping this holiday season, but sometimes it can be tough to pinpoint when exactly a package will arrive on your doorstep and how long it will sit unattended and vulnerable to those so-called porch pirates. Americans will ring up more than $240.8 billion in online sales this holiday season, according to Adobe Analytics, with most purchases slated for home delivery and providing more opportunity for porch pirates. Now's the time to be a lot more vigilant. CNET Money Editor Daisha Milden says protecting packages can begin before items leave the warehouse by choosing options like package tracking notifications or requiring a signature for delivery and purchasing with a credit card that offers a refund or replacement in the event of theft. Go ahead and check with your credit card issuer and see, do I have purchase protection? What are the limitations in case something like this does happen? It's better to be proactive in this case rather than reactive. For households using a doorbell camera, Milden says a small upgrade for extra recording capability around the holiday rush can help. If you don't have storage availability or recording, definitely see if that's something you can add on. Usually just log online and pay that fee. Consumers might want to consider in-store pickup for online orders or have packages delivered to pickup locations to reduce risks. And in the spirit of the season, Milden also suggests reaching out to neighbors to help keep an eye out for your packages and theirs. All right, as we head another break, here's your look at tonight's primetime lineup here on ABC. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Next, E.T., the cast of Gladiator 2 takes over L.A. Plus, E.T.'s Hawaii Week takes you behind the scenes of Moana 2. And this is E.T. then and now. Next, E.T. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and entertainment tonight at 7.30. Five couples remain. Who has what it takes to make it to the finale? It's the semifinals on Dancing with the Stars. Are you ready? Because I'm coming to get you. Get you, get you. you the Dancing of the Stars semifinals live tonight. Sandpoint Furniture, the name that has always been synonymous with high quality home furnishings matched with sensible pricing. Our customers from all over the Northern Panhandle and the Spokane area have discovered that it's well worth their time to make the trip to our beautiful showroom to find just the piece that they've been looking for. You'll also love our friendly, experienced sales staff who can show you all the unique choices that our 30,000 square foot store has to offer. And Sandpoint Furniture has a reliable delivery service, the first rate install team as well. So make that drive to Sandpoint Furniture. They've been making your house a home for almost 80 years now. If you're at home right now and you're suffering from burning, tingling, or numb feet, you need to pay special attention to this next segment as we discuss neuropathy. What is neuropathy? Peripheral neuropathy is actually nerve damage to the feet and the legs primarily. And what are the symptoms? The major symptoms we see are numbness, burning, muscle cramps, problems with your balance. Is neuropathy treatable? It is absolutely treatable, and we can get some great results. If you're experiencing burning, tingling, numbness, coldness in your feet or hands, or having balance issues, call today for your nerve damage screening. Your nerve damage screening will tell you if you're at risk for serious complications and if you're a candidate for our innovative treatment program. Don't wait until your symptoms are so severe there is nothing that can be done. End-stage neuropathy leaves people confined to walkers, wheelchairs, and even amputations. The first 25 callers will receive a free nerve damage screening. Act now and call to schedule your nerve damage screening. First 25 callers receive this screening for free. The Christmas season brings out the warmest memories of family and friends. Those memories are filled with decorating and sharing the Plant Farm poinsettias. The Plant Farm poinsettias are bigger, better, and redder and grown right here in the valley. 
Bring home your new memories today. The plant farms power the flower. The beautiful plant farm poinsettias. Because life is better in the garden and home. 4 News Now is brought to you by Mannheim Steamroller Christmas. BroadwaySpokane.com all right, we have some breaking news just into the newsroom. Within the last few minutes, the Spokane Valley City Council approved an ordinance making it a misdemeanor to sleep in city parks. This means anyone convicted could face up to 90 days in jail or a $1,000 fine. We'll have more on this, of course, tonight on Nightside starting at 11 o'clock. And Chris will also be alerting us on our weather alert day tomorrow. I will have an update, yes. All right, see you at 11.